Hola, photocracy. It's me, Coop Dizzle, again. And um, boy, oh boy, did I get some very interesting questions. So, uh, I'm going to start off with the first one. I'm not going to drag this on. I'm going to try not to drag this on. Okay, it is from Thriveability. And he... And they asked, um, how many kiddos do you have and how old? I have two kids. Um, De Devin is going to be six at the end of September. And Kaden just turned two. And I'm very lucky because they are some crazy kids just like me. Um, okay, Geekasaurus said, how come the purple border with flowers on your PP? It was an app that was on my iPod, and it was pretty, it wasn't plain and boring, and I love the color purple, and so, why not? I love purple. <laughs> and he also asked, um, what's your favorite meal to cook and why? It's not the healthiest meal, but I love to make pizza. Um... When I have company over, it's really quick and easy, and I have so many different variations of it that I just, I can have fun with it. And most of the time when I make it, both of the kids really actually enjoy it and, <laughs> you know, eat the whole thing. So, especially in my barbecue chicken pizza, my son loves it. I mean, just loves it. And today... Um, we've been getting some upgrades to our house because we live in teacher housing and um, I made enough pizza for everybody including the guys that are working on the house so that was a lot of fun and Olita Malita <laughs> that's a really confusing name but I think I said it right um, she asked the most important thing working out has taught you the most important thing that working out has taught me is that I am way stronger than I give myself credit for. I think most of my life um, I didn't do a lot of things just because I didn't think that I could and I don't know, I just had no follow through. Everything that I did as a child um, the moment I complained about it, my mom took me out. So <laughs> I really was horrible at sticking to things. And so not only have I proven to myself that I can stick to things, but that I am strong enough to do things like a half marathon. Never, never would have thought I would have been able to do that. And plank a palooza. Are you kidding me? I mean, come on, 60 minutes worth of planks in one day? I was very proud of myself. I'm very shocked. Okay, and Geekosaurus also asked, "What is your family? What is your favorite family photo?" We don't really have a professional picture, so I don't know if you can see that. That is my favorite picture. Uh, first of all, my son right there, Devin Boo, he just is trying to squeeze into that picture, and he looks so cute. And and the reason why I love Caden in this picture, even though he's not smiling, was that he was very, very grumpy that day, and that seemed to be, at the end of it, after playing around with the camera, he really seemed to be in a good mood. And, of course, my husband there... And uh, he's got his smile, and I always love it when my husband smiles. And my favorite thing about that picture on me is that my face is actually being squished by the kids. So that's my favorite picture, and that's why. And Mono Woman says, if you could be any animal for a day, what would you be? I... You know, I've always said that if I could be any animal, it would have to be a cat. But a household cat, even though I'm allergic to cats and can't have one, um, I would love to be a cat because they could just lay around all day and lay in the sun and they're their own boss, you know, whatever. They just go with the flow. <laughs> and my favorite childhood memory. Uh, that was a really hard question because I had a really rough childhood. But 
the one thing I loved about my childhood was how much my mom loved me and how she just she just showed me how much she loved me and one of our favorite things to do was sing in the car I mean I think we sang Christmas carols all year round so that's a favorite memory and she also had these ginormous boobs and they, I mean they were big and uh, I would just use them as pillows so I don't know those are some childhood memories um, Geekosaurus, no, oh, that wasn't a question, that was a statement. And Exiofet, fit? Um, you found a magic lamp with a genie inside. Unfortunately, due to budget cuts in the genie bureaucracy, you are allowed only two wishes with the following stipulations. I cannot talk today. The first must be a selfless but achievable wish and the second must be a selfish wish but benefit someone other than you what do you wish for I thought about this all day well the first one wasn't very hard um well I have a lot of selfless wishes for like family and friends and the hardest part about that was choosing which person to wish for and I think I would wish for a nice big comfortable house for my mom and um, they live in a trailer house and it's kind of run down and my stepdad is not in good health and so he doesn't do a lot around the house to you know fix things and my mom has mentioned several times that she's she just wishes that she could live in a house so I think that's what I would wish for is a big nice comfortable house for my parents um, and my selfish wish would be to get a tummy tuck <laughs> um, and I think that you meant that it would benefit someone other than me or someone I don't know but the reason why I wish for a tummy tuck is because I hate my stomach with a passion and uh, it would benefit my husband because uh, be more sexy and it would benefit my kids because I would be more confident I would be able to wear better clothes and feel better and they'd have a better mom I wish I could get the tummy tuck without all the pain <laughs> um, if you could oh Siem, uh, Siem diet. I don't know, I'm horrible at names. I already said that I would be. Um, if you could only have one superpower. I know that in the last one I mentioned that I would love to be able to teleport. But if I couldn't have that, I would love to have the power to move things with my mind. Uh, I'm a mom, and so there are those moments that I just don't feel like cleaning up the house. And I'd love to be able to clean it up without actually lifting a finger. And those times when your kids are falling and it's like slow motion and you can't stop it, that power would come in handy right then. Um, Nick Shells, Shields. And you've even said your name. I'm horrible tonight. I'm horrible all the time with names. Um, worst day. I've only really been in three or four relationships and two of them are very long. The first one uh, was with my first husband. We were married for six years and now this, or we were married for three and a half years technically. It took two and a half years to get the divorce. But with that guy over there, I've been with him for six years and I don't think I've had a bad date with him. He has been the dream partner. Um, so, I mean, I really haven't had any like before marriage bad dates. There was one at the very end of my last marriage. It was um, after he had decided that he didn't want to be married. And I was actually going to be getting on a plane to come back to the States the next day. And he took me out for dinner. Worst. <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. And I was so incredibly sad because I knew that it was over and... I mean, I was hopeful that it was going to work out, but I didn't think so. 
And um, yeah, it was just really uncomfortable and really painful and I think that was the worst date ever. And Big Hearted Guy asked, what's your favorite workout song? That one? That one's hard because I love music. I have, you know, those giant CD folders. Yeah, I have two of those filled with CDs and I have like 2,000 songs on my iTunes account. So the two, I'm going to have to do two favorite workout songs. The first one is Hot Dog by LMFAO because, <laughs> because, you know, he's like, I work out. And um, anyway, it's just a really funny song and it gets me moving. And the second one would have to be the Lazy Song by Bruno Mars. I love working out to that song because it's talking about how lazy he's being. And I'm like, I'm better than you because I'm not being lazy. <laughs> so that's it. That's all my questions. And that took forever. But thank you guys so much for asking questions. And I've been racking my brain all day as to what to say. And um, stay awesome, fiddo.